I have the coolest job in the world because I get to go out and make discoveries important to our understanding of the world. My name is Edmund Knudsen, I'm a paleontologist with the Queensland Museum Network and for me science is about discovery. My work is one big adventure, I get to go out and search for ancient fossils across the world. Like this guy, a plesiosaur. It's got about 60 teeth in its jaws. Its teeth are really pointy, but it's used for grabbing fish and squid. It's got big eyes to look underwater. It's got a really long neck with about 60 vertebrae and four flippers at the back that are used for swimming. We can find the fossils of these things uh, in inland Queensland, where 100 million years ago there was a sea that these guys were living in. There are paleontologists all across the world, anywhere from the Arctic to the deserts in Africa, and people are digging out anything from ancient whales to dinosaurs and tiny microscopic organisms from the early life. Paleontology is a really important topic because it uh, is the only clue we have to ancient life and our history and the history of life on Earth. And it gives us perspective to understand where we come from. The part of the job that I love is the field work where I get to go out and discover new things and go to places that no people would really normally go to. Uh, when we're out in the field we prefer to go out in the uh, cooler months because we don't want to be out in the really, really hot time of the year but it's still around 35 degrees and dusty and, uh, and cold at night down to freezing temperatures. So sometimes when we find tiny little bone fragments we follow them up the hill and uh, we discover big things like this big guy behind me here. So when we uh, find the source of bones in the field, we start to dig a, a big hole. And if we're very lucky, we don't have to dig very deep and the uh, bones are really shallow. So most of the time, we'll only dig a hole that's about a metre deep. So part of being a paleontologist is to describe the fossils that we find. And by that, I mean painting a picture for the reader of exactly what the anatomy of the animal looks like. And describing uh, the fossils are important because it allows us to compare them to other fossils across the world and find out what they mean to the evolution of life. Once we've excavated the uh, skeleton in the field and brought it back to the museum, we use a variety of technologies to study the animal. So we use 3D technologies that are some uh, new uh, innovative methodologies that have come in in the last few years. So using these 3D technologies, we're allowed to see inside the skeletons and also allowed to enlarge really tiny little bits of uh, animals to uh, better study them. Some of these 3D technologies include uh, laser scanning and photogrammetry and also micro CT scanning, which is X-ray of the fossils. As a kid, I remember always being interested in natural science and I'd go out and collect bugs in the forest and go to the local mines and collect rocks and minerals. Uh, I really fell in love with paleontology when I was up in the freezing Arctic collecting ancient marine reptiles. We discovered over 30 skeletons of these ancient marine reptiles that were swimming around in this ocean 150 million years ago. The discovery of all these ancient marine reptiles really made me think about uh, our place in the world as humans and uh, the ancient history of the Earth. If you're interested in becoming a paleontologist, follow your dreams, go visit a museum, get in contact with universities and do all the science subjects like biology and geology. The ultimate question for me and for my work is what is the origin of life, how did it evolve and how did it end up where we are now? <laughs>